Hi, my name is Debbie. We're, I'm over here at Wildfire Marine. Me and my husband are working on uh, David Taylor's boat. It's a 25 Bertram. Uh, so far what we've done, we've taken an inboard motor, we filled in the transom, put the bracket on it. We have all the fiberglass on the inside of the boat done. Now we're getting ready to do the wiring. All right, first thing we did is that we went and uh, pulled our battery cables. Due to the fact that it's a 250, they suck up a lot more power, so you gotta put the right battery cable to go with the motor. So I use one gauge wire. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my, my main wiring harness. So what I do is I take a tape measure. I'll measure, I'll measure how long of a distance I need from my bilge pump all the way up to my switch. And then I go ahead and I'll grab my two browns because I have two bilge pumps. Then I'll have my ground wires and then I'll have orange for my floats. So that's, that's the six wires that I will be pulling up into my console. Normally when I, when I run my, my harness through my rigging tube, I do not use tape and I do not use tie wraps. I just take it in and I pull it all the way up to the console in my rigging tube loose. Now I'm up inside the console. I see I have, I have two bilge pumps, I have nav lights, I have gunnel lights. So this is telling me what size of a fuse panel I actually need. So we took a 12 and then I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it and where everything else is gonna go. So the further to the side that I can get is where I decided to put it so it wouldn't interfere just in case there's something extra I have to put on the base that I'm using. I'm using toggle switches. I have the power wires coming off the back of the toggle switches which will go to my fuse panel. And then I'll run it up, put, hook it onto the back of my toggle switch and then bring it right down to my uh, fuse panel. What I want to do now that I've got my switches in, I like to take all my wires that are going to my destination, I like to tie them off and start working my way to clean up my mess. Makes it look neat. I leave my power wires out because the power wires, they have to go in all different directions. Okay, so what I normally do is I have my wires, I label the bottom of them. So I just take it like if it's a nav, I'll put the word nav on the bottom. This is my fuse panel. And I write it on here. So that this way I know when I get, do my, my label here, I'll know that this is a bilge, this will be a bilge, that will be a nav. And then it will also tell me what fuses I have to put in it. All right, once I'm done cleaning everything up, now I'm gonna start my power wires. My first one is always my nav light. I'll run it, and then I'll run it where I'm gonna go. Then I'll put my uh, ring terminal on it. So then I'll go ahead and I'll put that on there. I'll tighten it up. And then I'll go, my next one would be my two bilge pumps. I'm also doing it like this because this the boat has to go to Coastal Marine and I'm allowing him room for all his harnesses to come in for twin motors. Well, I got a little bit more wiring to do on my, on, on my fuse panel, and then I gotta do my battery cables, and then as soon as I'm done that, Mike's got a little bit more things to do on the boat, and hopefully we'll wrap it up and send it over to Coastal for motors.